Well, uh, Perkins Observatory, folks. <laughs> uh, real quick history, it was built back in the 1920s, 1923, uh, when construction started. It took about eight months to build the building. Um, a little bit longer to build the telescope. Uh, I'll talk a bit about that here in a moment. Uh, we're called Perkins Observatory because we're named after a guy named Hiram Perkins, who was an alumni of Ohio Wesleyan, a professor, and uh, made a little bit of money uh, during the Civil War, helping the Union Army, raising pigs, and to feed the Army during the Civil War. <laughs> the Union Army. Union Army, of course, <laughs> and uh, later gave that money to High Wesleyan to build this observatory. And when it was built, it had the third largest telescope in the world um, at that time, and right here in the middle of Ohio, of all places. Um, so Hiram wanted the place to be very beautiful. It's built in what's called the Neo-Renaissance style. And uh, every little bit, he wanted to have some little teaching moment, something that's educational. Uh, everything from uh, the relief here above the door, which is Helios watering the horses of the sun, there, symbolized. And uh, the names of famous astronomers around the building, there's Copernicus, Tycho Brahe, Galileo, empty space. Oh, wait a minute. That was Kepler. All right, we took him down because we don't believe his theories anymore. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he fell off. It's Italian marble and laid with gold leaf. Pretty expensive to replace, unfortunately. Oh, wow. Once it falls off, we couldn't do anything yeah. about it. Um, so, but there's kind of a history of astronomy around the building. It um, starts with uh, Ptolemaeus and goes on around to uh, some of the astronomers from the end of the 19th century.